Hello, today I'm going to show you a few simple tips and tricks that you can use to get more out of your Magic XPI Studio. One important issue in programming is, when you change one item, what other items will be affected? One small change could have unintended consequences. Magic XPI provides an excellent cross-referencing system for this purpose. I'll show you how to use this cross-referencing system now. Right click on the flow where the object that you want to cross-reference is located and select cross-reference. The cross-reference procedure runs and you now see the instances of the object displayed here in the window. Right click on the instance and select move to. And you'll be taken straight to the configuration dialog box for that particular object. You can then make the required changes. Out of interest, let's see what happens if there are no results for your cross-referencing query. Now, let's run the cross-referencing tool on the project's variables. First, open the Variables for Flow dialog box. Right-click and select cross-reference on the required variable. The cross-reference procedure runs and you'll now see the instances of the object displayed here in the window. As before, you can right-click on the specific instance and select Move To and you'll be taken straight to the configuration dialog box to make your required changes. There might be times when you need to search for specific text in your project so you can edit it. For example, you might need to make a global change to a specific word in your project if something like a company name is changed. Magic XPI gives you good text search capabilities. First, I'll show you how to search for text in the names of certain objects. From the Edit menu, select Find Name. This opens the Find window. You can also use Ctrl F to do this. Type in the text that you want to search for and hit Tab to enable the OK button. You can also do a case sensitive search if you want. Click OK to run the search and Magic XPI will then take you to the first item where your chosen text appears. You can click F3 to move on to the next item that matches your search and to go back to a previous item you can click Control F3. Next I'll show you how to find text in any object in Magic XPI. From the Tools menu select either Run or Run on Project. In this case we'll select Run. This opens the Find Text window. Enter the text that you want to search for. Note that there are additional options to refine your search. Then hit Tab to enable the OK button, followed by OK to run the search. The Text Search Results window will appear with a list of all references to the text that you entered. It's important to understand that the scope of your text search is determined by whereabouts you stand in the navigation pane, which in this case was the business process. You can then right click on any line in the results pane and select move to to go to the object. Finally, Let's run the same search on the whole project. From the Tools menu, select Run on Project. In the Find Text window, enter the text that you want to search for, click Tab to enable the OK button, and then click OK. Again, the Text Search Results window will appear with a list of all references to the text that you entered. You can drill down through the various level in the navigation pane here and 
you can print your results from this window by clicking the print button here. These results can be exported to Excel by right clicking and selecting export to Microsoft Excel. as we see here. You can also right click on an item in the navigation pane and select text search to do your search in the same way. Magic XPI gives you a couple of options for moving from pane to pane in the studio. The first way is simply to click on the pane that you want. The second way is to use Control Tab. If you're using a window with tabs, you can use Control Tab to move between the tabs, as we see here. Magic XPI lets you customise the studio's colours and fonts. This can help you to highlight certain things in your project by making them easier to see. Before I show you how to customise things, I want to show you what the default colours and fonts are like. As you can see, the text is quite small and may not stand out as much as you would like. To customise the colours and fonts, go to the Tools menu and select Customise. In the Customise window, select the Colour Rules tab. In this case, I want to change the function's colour. You can see that I changed the colour to red. And let's change the font size to 20 and the font style to bold. Click OK. And again. Now, when we look at the same window that we opened earlier, we can see that the function name appears in red and the whole string is larger and bolder. This makes everything much easier to see and read. By default, Magic XPI's tooltips are set to appear on your screen for 5 seconds. However, some tooltips are longer and 5 seconds might not give you enough time to read them. So now, I'm going to show you how to make the tooltips stay visible on your screen for longer. Firstly, open the Magic INI file. Then, search for the tooltip timeout flag. Here, change the value to the number of seconds that you want the tooltip to appear for and save the Magic INI file. Then, save and close the Magic XPI project. Open the Magic XPI project again. And now, we'll check what's happened to the tooltips after we made that change. Here, we see that the same tooltip now stays visible for 10 seconds, which is the value that we set in the Magic INI file. Today, we've seen some of the tricks and tips you can use with the Magic XPI Studio. I hope you'll join me again soon for some more magic.